hello everyone welcome to the channel so glad to see you here thank you so much for tuning in my name is mitzi morris and what is this channel about this channel is about changing your mind about money so we on this channel we're getting to the root of why your relationship is either good or bad with money you know we have other channels that talks about the how to's how to get out of debt how to do this how to do that but if your mind isn't changed you might do that you might get out of debt but you'll get right back into debt until your mind is changed and you have discipline in tow along with your mind right because once you change your mind and you become a disciplined person and your money blueprint has changed you will now begin to enjoy the fruits of your labors, the fruits of your monies, and having your money be a slave to you and you be master over your money. So we are also taking, you know, certain pages from this book, Secrets of the Mill in Your Mind. It was written by... Um, T. Harv Ecker. I have been to many of his seminars. I took my children because I wanted them to learn from an early age how to respect money, how to respect credit cards, and how to stay debt-free and to have a great credit score. Because without a good credit score, let's face it, you're going to not get the right um, interest rate on a car loan or on a mortgage. Now, I know, you know, I don't want to get into that because I'm going to get into that video further along, but I needed to say this. Um, Mr. Ramsey, he talks about cutting up the credit cards, getting rid of credit cards. Well, on my channel, we don't cut up credit cards. Why? Because once our minds are changed into the right money blueprint, we are going to be great money managers and great money managers do not cut up credit cards. Okay. Because if you don't have a credit card and it shows that you are a responsible person, not a five-year-old who doesn't know how to handle themselves and be disciplined, then guess what? You're not going to get a mortgage. You have to be responsible and show the banks that you know how to handle your business, that you know how to handle yourself, right? To me, Mr. Ramsey is talking to people that are different for you, from you and I. You and I are people that wants to be just as rich and wealthy like him. And I know that he didn't have five jobs to get where he's at. I know that. He got into real estate. He became an entrepreneur. He didn't. He wasn't driving Uber like he tells all of you. Drive Uber, deliver pizza, blah, blah, blah. Don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. If you followed his steps, you're going to be okay. But you don't just want to be all right. You don't want to be just okay, right? You want to have a purpose. You want to be able to not just financially help your families, but to extend that help to others in need, yeah? And if you're just comfortable, which I believe is a cuss word, you're a selfish person if you just wanna be comfortable. Come on, there are other people that are waiting on you to change your lives through your pocketbook, right? So that's what this channel is about. This channel is about channeling your inner creative self and working on your mind so that you can change your money blueprint. So we left off where I told you my story. And now I want to get into the meat of why you think the way you think. Again, do not forget to subscribe. Come on now. I'm going to be giving you good stuff, good nuggets. Help a girl out, right? Okay, so I got to put these glasses on. <laughs> okay, so I'm not glaring today. All right, so I'm going to be reading this page, page 12. Imagine a tree. Let's suppose the tree represents the tree of life. On this tree, there are fruits. In life, 
our fruits are called or our results. So in our life, our fruits are what? Our results. So we look at the fruits, which is our results, and we don't like them. There aren't enough of them. They're too small or they don't taste good. So what do we tend to do? Most of us put even more attention and focus on the fruits. You don't like how the fruits look? You don't like how they taste? So what do you do? What do you do? That's your results. You don't like your results right now. But there's a root cause. And this is why our channel is going to be lit. Different. We're not telling you how to. We are going to train your brain to just do the right thing. But what is that actuality? Sorry, I'm tongue-tied. But what is it that actually creates those particular fruits? It's the seeds. And the roots that create those fruits. It's what's under the ground that creates what's above the ground. It's what invisible that's create what's visible. So what does that mean? It means that if you want to change the fruits, you will first have to change the roots. Do I have to say that for the ones in the back of the room? Remember, what we're talking about here on this channel is your mind. Change your mind, change your money. If you want to change the visible, you must first change the invisible. Okay, how do I do that? How do I change my mind? You've got to go back to the roots of your mind. When did it start? How did you get here? How do you have $40,000 in debt? Consumer debt. Just barely managing paying the minimums. In my experience, what you cannot see in this world is far more powerful than anything. You can see, you may or may not agree with this statement, but to the extent that you do not apply this principle in your life, you must be suffering. You must be suffering. Why? Because you are going against the laws of nature, whereby what is under the ground creates what is above the ground, where what is invisible creates what is visible. As humans, we are part of nature, not above it. Consequently, when we align with the laws of nature and work on our roots, our inner world, our life flows smoothly. When we don't, life gets really, really rough. In every forest, on every farm, in every orchard on earth, it's what's under the ground that creates what's above the ground. That's why placing your attention on the fruits that you have already grown is futile. You cannot change the fruits that are already hanging on the tree. It's already there. Whether they're filled with maggots or not, the trees, the fruits are already on the trees. So you can't change that. So maybe you just need to get some good seeds and start all over and make sure that you're tilling the soil. The soil is fruitful and then you plant your good seeds. <coughs> But to do so, you have to dig below the ground and strengthen the roots. So how do I dig below the ground of my mind, Mitzi? 
I am so weak. I go into the store and I just pull out my credit cards. I go into the store and I pull out my debit card. I know there's a bill that's supposed to be paid, but I'm thinking I'll buy this thing anyway and I'll find the money for that bill. The roots are rotten. What most people never realize is that the physical realm is merely a print out on the tree. It's a printout. For example, Mr. Ecker says, let's suppose you've just written a letter on your computer. You hit the print key and the letter comes out of the printer. You look at your hard copy and lo and behold, you find a typo. So you take out the trusty eraser and rub out the typo. Then you hit print again and out came the same typo. Oh my gosh, how could this be? You just erase it. So this time you get a bigger eraser and you rub even harder and longer. You even study a 300 page manual called effective erasing. Now you've got all the tools and knowledge and you are ready. You hit print and there it is again. No way! You cry out, stunned in amazement. How could this be? What's going on here? Am I in the twilight zone? What's going on here is that the real problem cannot be changed in the printout. The physical world, it can only be changed in the program. The mental, emotional, and spiritual world. Money is a result. Wealth is a result. Health is a result. Illness is a result. Your weight is a result. You live in a world of cause and effect. So money is a result. Health is a result until you change your inner world, your outer world will be a mess where money is concerned. Have you ever heard someone assert that a lack of money was a bit of a problem? It is a bit of, it's a, it's a big problem. Now hear this, a lack of money is never ever a problem. A lack of money is merely a symptom of what is going on underneath. So I was wrong. It's what's going on underneath. It's not so much of a big problem. He's telling us here that it's what's underneath. Lack of money is the effect. But what is the root cause? It boils down to this. The only way to change your outer world is to first change your inner world. Whatever results you're getting, be that rich or poor, good or bad, positive or negative, always remember that your outer world is simply a reflection of your inner world. If things aren't going well in your outer life, it's because things aren't going well in your inner life. It's that simple. So stay tuned and we are going to be diving in our inner world so that the outer world can be amazing. Remember, you were not made to just live, pay bills, and die. There's a purpose for your life. And the good book says, money, answer it, all things. Some people don't know that it is in that book, but it is. The answer is all there. Don't be a borrower. Concentrate on the end game where, where you will be a lender and not a borrower. You'll be a giver and not a taker. You'll be amazing. It's waiting for you on the other side. Because here's the thing. The side that you're on right now, it's filled with cockroaches. But 
by the end of this series of changing your mind, your money is going to be changed. And the other, the right side of money is waiting for you. So subscribe to this channel. Go get yourself that book so you can read along with me. And let's go get what we came for. Love you all. See you on the next one. Have yourself a wonderful, wonderful day. You, <laughs> my glasses fell off my face. You are amazing. Let's go get it.